Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pointless Top 10, a show where we make top 10 lists out of pointless things. Why are we flying by this pointless statue in Booty Bay? Because inside pointless things are treasure. Let's begin. 10. Number 10 are the Bufanid frogs, and the Bufanid frogs, or Buffanid frogs, I don't know how you say it, are uh, frogs located in Zareth Mortis, and they're kind of like robot frogs, but this is one of the coolest things that's come out of Shadowlands, to be honest. Uh, it's actually a reference to the family Bufanodae, which it says here on Wikipedia, a true toad is any member of the family Bufanodae. However, this is just like turtle and tortoise, because just like how all tortoises are turtles, not all turtles are tortoises, but every toad is a frog, but not all frogs are toads. The main point here being that all of these Bufanid frogs are a reference to that. So there are a lot of them. There's accelerated Bufanids, there's overgrown Bufanids, there's patient Bufanids, bounding Bufanids. Uh, there's like 20 different types, and there's venomous, dimensional, bounding, there's a whole bunch of them, but I love these guys, like they straight up are just big robot toads, you know, like look at them, they're croaking around, uh, they got grass and moss, or I guess that's not moss, it's like plants growing on them, and there's actually some little versions of them as well swimming around, so really cool frogs, love them a lot, and one of the coolest things to come out of Shadowlands, so that's why... They're number 10. Nine. Number nine are the huge toads. And these huge toads are actually not that huge. They're probably some of the smallest toads in the game. But that doesn't take away from the fact that they are called huge toads. And that makes them huge toads. So huge toads are critters found in Hillsbrid, Swamp of Sorrows, Twilight Highlands, and Zul Drac. In fact, uh, there is a huge toad Hearthstone card as well. So, huge toads are actually in multiple games. I also just love their animation. They kind of do like a slide and jump. They're just like... Beep, beep. You can see it right on the screen. I don't even know why I'm describing it. It's just like... Beep, beep. But yeah, there's nothing crazy about these guys. They're literally just toads in the game. In fact, they're part of the achievement to all the squirrels who share my life, which is an achievement you get for slash loving a bunch of different critters, which are the Arctic Hare, Fjord Penguin, Glacier Penguin, Huge Toad, Mountain Skunk, Skalazar, Tick Bird, Hare, Borean Marmot, Fjord Turkey, Grizzly Squirrel, Lava Crab, Scalawag Frog, and Tundra Penguin. So go find those critters in the game, give them some slash love, get yourself an achievement, and see the Huge Toad in person. Well, uh, in game, in person, you know what I'm saying. So that's why the huge toads are number nine. Eight. Number eight are the horn swags, and the horn swags are a type of frog-like dragonkin found on the Dragon Isles, and they're found typically in water, caves, or areas with volcanic activity. Horn swags are also bullies, and they tend to jump around and eat every creature smaller than them. A swarm of rowdy horn swags can even bring down and trample a centaur, which is pretty crazy actually, but they do look kind of crazy, and I kind of love that about them, right? They're just like these dragon frogs, just sitting there hopping around. In fact, they are here for a quest, which is uh, famous frogs, and you end up getting them low health, and then you put a hat on top of them, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you're just putting hats on frogs and making them famous, but there's actually some notable famous horn swags. There's Wellington and Beef, referencing Beef Wellington. There's the Great Swag, Gulping Goliath, Scald the Impaler, Smog, Swag, the Fire Breather, and Swag Ronka. So, some fantastic horn swag names out there, but I decided to make these ones number eight because, I mean, you're making them famous, right? So that's why these famous horn swags are number eight. Seven. Number seven is the Enormous Bullfrog, located in Razorfen Crowl, and he is kind of an enormous bullfrog. He's just this big bullfrog in a corner of the cave in RFK, and he has the ability to create bile clouds, which periodically creates a cloud of bile that grows over 10 seconds, inflicting nature damage every second. And there's a bunch of his frog friends all around too, and he's supposed to be a rare elite, but he's there every time you go. There's never been a time I went to RFK where he wasn't there, so I think he's just, I think he's just there. And they call him rare elite, kind of like how the huge frogs are huge, but they're not actually huge. It's like he's a rare elite, but he's not actually rare. But if you kill him, he can drop a tree frog box or a wood frog box, which teaches you how to summon those companions. So you can get some frog friends. Also, he has some weird poles sticking out of him. Do you see that? I don't know what that is. Maybe that's like a glitch or something. I don't know. Maybe we got to help him out. It's like spirited away. You got to pull the thorn out of him. Whatever it is, that's why the enormous bullfrog 
is number seven. Six. Number six is Jub Jub, and Jub Jub is a frog found in the Dark Moon Island, and she is Morja's pet, or Moria, I don't know if it's silent or not. And you must first get Jub Jub's attention with a dark iron ale mug. And this starts a quest line where you can hatch your own Jubbling with the spawn of Jub Jub. And I remember back in Classic WoW, there used to be this orc kid named Flick who would chase around a frog. Uh, which I referenced in one of my really old machinima videos and I don't actually think he was chasing Jub Jub I think he was just chasing some random other frog But this made me remember it because that also happened at the Dark Moon Fair And this also made me realize that this frog loves beer like think about that You're just tossing mugs of ale and he's like ooh and he's just getting slammed, right? He's getting wasted out here. And we're just like, oh, hey, we let him back But like like think about that this frog is an alcoholic and that's why Jub Jub is number six Five. Number five are the Masked Frogs of Ardenweld, and this is yet another Shadowlands frog. Look at that, I never thought we'd have a list with two Shadowlands things on it. This is unbelievable. Uh, but these Masked Frogs are great. They have these wooden masks that I think are just part of them. Like, I think they might, I don't think people give them masks. I think they just have those masks. And they got some plants or flora growing on their back, and they just look cool. They also got some, like, knee pads or shin guards. I don't know what those are, but they got those as well. And there's also a masked frog mount. Look at that. You can get your very own masked frog mount and hop around and have a great time. I also thought this would be a great time to insert some frog facts. So frogs live around the world on every continent except Antarctica. So there's no Arctic crazy frogs, although maybe there are, we just haven't found them yet. A group of frogs is called an army. Uh, a frog's bulging eyes allow it to see in front, sides, and partially behind it. And bullfrogs can be heard up to a mile away. And frogs don't drink water. They absorb water through their skin, which is pretty awesome. And that's why the masked frogs are number five. Four. Number four are the pond swallow frogs, and the reason I love these frogs is there's a bunch of them doing their own thing, which sounds like what all frogs would be doing, but these ones specifically are doing their own thing. So they're located primarily in Legion, in Azuna, and there's one that's just chilling in some water by himself. Uh, there's one that's chilling by some murlocs, and they're not even bothering him. He's just like having a great time. There's one that's just chilling in a carriage, like straight up. He's just chilling in a carriage, waiting for... Uh, a prince or princess to come kiss him or something. I don't know. Uh, there's one that's hopping between rocks. Like, these are just some great frogs. And, you know, I mean, again, they're not anything special. They're not like a crazy frog. They're not some elite rare frog or some giant frog. They're just normal frogs. And I love how cool they are by being normal frogs. You know what I mean? Sometimes the most normal frogs are the coolest frogs. And so that's why these pond swallow frogs are number four. Three. Number three is Crocan and his frog friends. So in an island southwest of the Crasserong Wilds, well, in the southwest of the Crasserong Wilds, there is a big area with a bunch of frogs. And there's just like packs and packs of frogs here. They're all just having fun, jumping around, uh, you know, having a good time. And there is a thing where you have to kill a bunch of these frogs, and if you do, Crocan is summoned. And Crocan is an unusually large frog that has the ability Frog Justice. So, uh, we could not get him to spawn because you have to kill, like, thousands of frogs. And not only did I not want to kill these frogs, I mean, they're just, look, they're just having a good time. I don't want to ruin their good time, but it was, like, thousands. I was like, alright, listen. I'm just gonna slap a picture of this frog up there. There he is. He's got frog justice. Angered by the senseless slaughter of his fellow amphibians, Crocan unleashes his wrath on enemies in the area. Victims of this attack die instantly. So he just straight up kills you if you attack him for killing all of his frog friends. And you know what? I respect it. Even if I am using a picture that looks like I'm trying to find Bigfoot out in Frog Isle. He looks like Frog Bigfoot with this grainy ass picture. Uh, but either way, <laughs> That's why Crocan and his frog friends are number three. Two. Number two is Kragwa, and Kragwa is a frog loa worshipped by the Zandalari, and he can be found at Kragwa's burrow, located in the Frog Marsh in Nazmir. And I love Kragwa. As soon as I thought of this list, I was like, Kragwa's on this list. Just phenomenal frog. I remember that quest where you hop around on him, and he's just like, blah, blah. 
and he's just whacking all the people as you ride around on him. That was just one of my favorite quests. And the frog marsh that he lives in is phenomenal as well. Just look at the aesthetic and the lighting and the fireflies and the lily pads of the frog marsh. Like, oh my God, there's a bunch of little frogs there. Just this entire place is one of my favorites in Battle for Azeroth, which I love a lot of places in Battle for Azeroth, as you probably know by now if you watch a lot of these pointless top tens. But just the combination of Kragwa the Huge living in this really aesthetic, cool frog marsh and everything around it. Plus, hey, we're a friend to the frogs. He's not going to eat us. How kind of Kragwa. So that's why Kragwa the Huge is number two. One. And number one is kind of unconventional. So we found old Lula, the innkeeper, at the Twilight Glade in Shadow Moon Valley. And it appears she has quite the obsession with frogs, and she sells gently squeezed toads. And so she talks about frog legs, she talks about tadpoles, she talks about a whole bunch of stuff, but then she says, The others don't believe me. I have seen him, the Great One. Once you fall under his gaze, you will never be the same again. And so the only frog she could be talking about is the Hypnocroak nearby. And so if you go check out the Hypnocroak, I mean, he's a pretty cool frog, but he's just really really cool all glory to the hypno croak you get it it's like it's a futurama reference hypno croak's a reference to futurama and the hypno toad so uh very cool you know he's hypno croak he's mesmerizing to everybody that goes to him especially old luna and i felt like that'd be a funny goof to put it number one so that's why the hypno croak is number one Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Pointless Top 10. If you want to go see some more Pointless Top 10s, we just had beds the other week and go check that one out. Or I mentioned turtles and tortoises in this one, you go check that one out as well. Also, if you want to support the channel, check out patreon.com slash crendor or consider becoming a channel member. Okay? Okay. See ya.